Nursing is one of the noblest professions that mankind has. It is the core part of the healthcare system. The nursing system is designed so as to promote healthy living, prevent the spread of diseases, and ensure quick reach to the disease, mentally challenged segments of society. In that way, the medical field without a proper nursing system fails to achieve its lofty aims. Good day to each and every one. I am Crystal Jade S. Musmian, and for today's video, I'm going to discuss with you the roles and functions of a nurse and the advanced practice roles for nurses in maternal and child health. So, let's discuss first the roles and functions of a nurse. There are 10 roles and functions as a nurse and these are the caregiver, the communicator, the teacher, the client advocate, the counselor, the change agent, the leader, the manager, the case manager, and the research consumer. The role of the nurse, um, I love when people ask me that question. It's like a million different things. I am sometimes the mom of patients. I am their emotional support. You're the hand to hold when things are getting really hard. We're superheroes. <laughs> You're a friend. You're a therapist. <laughs> You're really everything to your patients and to their families. People don't really um, understand the complexity that nursing has evolved into. In the nursing and medical field right now, it's more of collaboration. We're the ones pulling all members of the team together. Let's talk what's going to happen today. Let's talk about what you need. Let's figure this out. We're going to do this together. It's holistic. It's bedside manner. Kind of are the gateway to many of aspects of patient care. I try to always be the advocate for my patients, to be that voice if they don't feel like they can speak up. We're at the bedside, so we have that advantage of knowing exactly what they need. Nursing gives you the opportunity to take care of someone in a way that no one else does, to go deeper than other professions. That's our essence, right? We're there to be that compassionate ear. It's uh, going in and saving a life. It's incredibly rewarding, satisfying, every superlative I could think of. <laughs> The caregiver role has traditionally included those activities that assist the client physically and psychologically while preserving the client's dignity. Caregiving encompasses the physical, psychosocial, developmental, cultural, and spiritual levels. Communication is an integral to all nursing roles. Nurses communicate with the client, support persons, other health professionals, and people in the community. Nurses identify client problems and then communicate this verbally or in writing to other members of the health team. The quality of a nurse's communication is an important factor in nursing care. As a teacher, the nurse helps clients learn about their health and the health care procedures they need to perform to restore or maintain their health. The nurse assesses the client's learning needs and readiness to learn sets specific learning goals in conjunction with the client, in acts, teaching strategies, and measures learnings. Client advocate acts to protect the client. In this role, the nurse may represent the client's needs and wishes to other health professionals, such as relaying the client's wishes for information to the physician. They also assist clients in exercising their rights and help them speak up for themselves. Counseling is a process of helping a client to recognize and cope with stressful psychological or social problems, to develop and improve interpersonal relationships, and to promote personal growth. It involves providing emotional, intellectual, and psychological support. The nurse acts as a change agent when assisting others, that is, clients, to make modifications in their own behavior. Nurses also often act to make changes in a system such as clinical care if it is not helping a client return to health. A leader influences others to work together to accomplish a specific goal. The leader role can be employed at different levels, individual client, family, groups of clients, colleagues, or the community, 
effective leadership is a learned process requiring an understanding of the needs and goals that motivate people, the knowledge to apply the leadership skills, and the interpersonal skills to influence others. The nurse manages the nursing care of individuals, families, and communities. The nurse manager also delegates nursing activities to ancillary workers and other nurses and supervises and evaluates their performance. A case manager is a graduate level nurse who supervises a group of patients from the time they enter a healthcare setting until they are discharged from the setting or in a seamless care system into their homes as well monitoring the effectiveness and satisfaction of their health care. Case management can be a vastly satisfying nursing role because if the healthcare setting is seamless or one that follows people both during an illness on their return to the community, it involves long-term contacts and lasting relationships. Nurses often use research to improve client care. In a clinical area, nurses need to have some awareness of the process and language of research. Be sensitive to issues related to protecting the rights of human subjects. Participate in identification of significant researchable problems and be a discriminating consumer of research findings. And today, let's go further for the advanced practice roles for nurses in maternal and child health. They provide individual care I'm Reggie Elam and I'm an Advanced Practice Registered Nurse. Hi, I'm Pat Coyne. I'm an Advanced Practice Registered Nurse. Hi, I'm Jessica Jordan and I'm an Advanced Practice Registered Nurse. Hello, I'm Kevin Briggle. I'm an Advanced Practice Registered Nurse. First, we have the Clinical Specialist. It's a nurse who has completed a master's degree in specialty and has considerable clinical expertise in that specialty. She provides expert care clinical nurse specialists can provide direct patient care, but they also can work within systems, doing education, doing research. My name's Diana. I'm a clinical nurse specialist. I'm going to help the nurse do your tray care, okay? The second one is the nurse practitioner. It's a nurse who has completed either a certificate program or a master's degree in a specialty and is also certified by the appropriate specialty organization. She is skilled at making nursing assessments, performing PE, counseling, teaching, and treating minor and self-limiting illness. And the third one is the nurse midwife. A nurse who has completed a program in midwifery, provides prenatal and postnatal care, and delivers babies to women with uncomplicated pregnancies, either independently or in association with an obstetrician, the nurse midwife assumes full responsibility for the care and management of women with uncomplicated pregnancy. Nurse midwives play a large role in making birth an unforgettable family event as well as helping to ensure a healthy outcome for both mother and child. The midwives are involved in the care of women surrounding childbirth. We very much feel that midwives can be the primary provider for many of these patients. Working in collaboration with a physician group. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that was great. You are gorgeous. I mean, we didn't... The fourth one is the nurse anesthetist. A nurse who completed the course of study in an anesthesia school and carries out preoperative status in clients. CRNAs are one of the largest providers of anesthesia in the state of Ohio, primarily working in our OR settings, our ambulatory care settings. Anytime anesthesia is used, they're usually they're providing it. Now, Pat, I want you to start taking some deep breaths. The fifth one is the nurse educator. A nurse usually with advanced degree who teaches in clinical or educational settings, teaches theoretical knowledge, clinical skills, and conduct research. The sixth 
first one is a nurse entrepreneur. A nurse who has an advanced degree and manages health-related business. And the last one is a nurse administrator. A nurse who functions at various levels of management in health settings, responsible for the management and administration of resources and personnel involved in giving patient care. The future is just limitless in the areas in which advanced practice nurses are going to work. Well, I think things are going very, very well. This is true at the Cleveland Clinic and it's definitely true nationwide. The nursing is a profession of care, diligence, and responsibility. It is regulated by predefined core values and professional ethics. The best nurse is one who is driven by passion, integrity, sincerity, care, and social responsibility. And that would be all. Thank you for watching.